let's talk about this. I know you guys seen the um, the thumbnail, the title, and you're wanting you want to talk about this. I've seen this so much of so many people asking when SCR Gogeta. Now there's a lot of people that are on the fence, just like me, as in SCR Gogeta don't need an easy A. But there's so many people out there that want to see him get an easy A. And the reason why there's so many people out there that want to see him get an easy A is because everyone pretty much has the damn card. At least one dupe. I have three dupes in mind. There's people out there. They got him rainbowed, Eminem, Starburst, Skittle, whatever. Like, And then there's people out there that have so many of them that they summon that they up the SA for the intelligence one. There's probably someone out there on an account that has two STR Gogetas, Doke and Awaken, with both of them, all their dupe pads open. Like one of them's rainbow, the other one's just sitting there while the dupe pads open. And not SA-10. But they're, they're, I'm pretty sure there's someone out there that's, that's even done that, even rainbow the second one. For how many times he's been on banners and been able to been summoned. I'm going to walk you through something real quick that I think is uh, one, one way that they could possibly do it. And then I'm going to say why they shouldn't. We all know he's busted. But Intelligence, Janemba. Four year anniversary, that's when his EZA comes back around. Tie it all in with the first year anniversary, four year anniversary. They just go ahead and give him his EZA then. Prize, uh, everyone gets shocked because they announced that STR Gogeta is getting an EZA alongside of uh, Janemba just because of one year anniversary. They're both the first uh, year, literally, anniversary cards, and they do that. So keep that in mind. Say say they surprise everyone and they do that. You see his stats 100% right there. Um, pretty decent. No one was necessarily like gawking at his stats or anything and saying nothing. No one cared about his defense. Again, he did tanky guard, guard effective against all attacks. No one was necessarily uh, worried about that. His leader skill, obviously after the EZA, I'm probably going to say it's intelligence type plus 3 key HP attack and defense 80% just because the attack is 80% there. And they want to make this guy pretty pretty good uh seeing as he is the first uh he was one of the first uh anniversary cards and stuff uh so i'm gonna assume they're gonna they're gonna want to try to go out and make him like really damn good make him viable make him to where people want to actually be able to be like do i want to run the str one or do i want to run the intelligence one you know so supreme damage uh greatly lowers uh defense i'm probably gonna say it's probably gonna stay supreme damage maybe maybe he actually switches to immense damage but the SA-15 modifier will kick in and, and help a lot more. So his passive H attack and defense five, uh, plus 5,000 guard effective against all type. No one cares about the guard effective against all type. Again, we know he, he can tank and all that stuff. So no one necessarily is really worried about that. But the attack and defense, I can possibly see him if they want to go the route of him being stupid busted and, and actually being like really good. I can see them going 100% or 120%. Uh, attacking defense that is and with the high stats that that come with that one and the uh, sa15 modifier and all that stuff he could probably be do a lot of good a lot of damage on, on the right teams especially movie uh movie boss category and stuff like that he could do the right damage obviously his links probably gonna stay the same and everything but he would do a lot of damage and people would probably be a little bit happy about that because i think i even have like two dupes or, or so two or three dupes of, of this guy as well so at this point in time, like everyone should have like dupes of, of these guys, the car and dupes. But he would be really good. Again, he got the short end of, of, of the stick literally the first year anniversary because whenever the first year anniversary came out, everyone seen STR Gogeta and seen how busted he was and was just like, let me just go ahead and open up my bank account straight to Bandai. Let them just walk in in my bank account and take how many stacks they feel they deserve out of my bank account. And then I'm fine if I get the card. That's pretty much what happened. Like, I don't care. Just take as much as you want for me to get the damn card. And back then, race was terrible. Just let just throwing that out there for the, for the veterans. Now, you see this guy's stats. 100%. Easy A for him? Really? This man already has damn near free-to-play LR stats on some characters. A rainbowed. So, you you want to put him at a, at an easy A where he's probably going to be getting like twenty thousand HP, probably twenty thousand attack, and then maybe like thirteen thousand uh, defense, leader skill all types, probably plus three key HP uh, HP attack and defense, 
maybe 80% too if they want to go alongside of Janimba on that one. If Soul Punish, he causes immense damage. That's why I'm saying this man aged great. He causes immense damage. Like already, SA-15 on him, passive. Now it's passive, uh, attacks effective against all types. That's that's going to stay. It's go Jira. But attack 7,000 7, plus 7,000. Could you imagine giving him defense too? Like attack and defense plus 70%. Attack and defense plus... Okay, like here's, here's a here's a challenge for everyone that's watching this right now. Um, go on go on Dokken Battle, wherever you're on JP or Global, whichever one you have them on. Uh, go on JP Dokken Battle. Use your, use your fusion team. Put him on there. Go against a uh, type advantage, but also bring in uh, support items that buff super, well, not super attack, but buff attack. Like, so bring in like some Bulmas and, and all that stuff that's going to buff your uh, attack up. Like, so like it's attack and defense uh, 20% up, and then you just bring in four of those or, or like different ones, whatever, to, to help that attack buff. Do that and then relay back to, to me how much damage he done. Now, the reason why I say that is because that's probably not going to hold a candle to what he would literally do. Easy aid, SA-15, with those huge stats and his passive. And that's just his passive right now of being attacked uh, plus 7,000. Yeah, with him getting attack and defense or just attack uh, a percentage. Yeah, especially if he's getting like, if he could, if he would get like 100%. Could you imagine him with 100% attack up at, with all that? Like, he doesn't have a percentage. He just has a flat rate uh, uh, attack up. A flat rate. So, a percentage on top of that. That's why I'm saying bring in the ones that's going to percentage, like, plus 20% or 30%, whatever, and add that up and, and do that. And it's not going to hold accountable to what he would do. This is why I'm on the fence of him not getting an easy eight. Because, again, no one really just goes through and is like, you know what, let me just run some support items to see how much more attack he's going to get. You know, some people probably nuke with him and all that stuff as well, you know, but no one was really going, let me just, you know, do this and play around with it. So I'm telling you right now, man won't hold a candle to what he would do with an easy A. I'm, I'm against it. If it happens, it happens. I'm not going to be mad at it. I have him with three dupes. I would, I, trust me, everyone would take it if it happened. But the whole notion of him getting an easy A is a little bit, nah, he's too good. You know, trust me, Bandai would be, trust me, Bandai likes to do stuff for the for, for the anniversaries, they do, but that would be a, that would be a big one to do. And if that happened, he's, he's going into being one of the hardest hitters in the game. I promise you that, literally promise you that. But I'm telling you in the comment section below, do that. Let me know. Let me know how much you hit for with your Go Gita and the uh, and the support items that you actually use. Because I may do it at one point in time, just just to see what I do with with three with three dupes in, just to see. But if you guys do agree or disagree, let me know in the comment section below. Also, if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to lightly tap that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications where you can know if I'm when we go live. Share the stream out. Well, not the stream, but actually, well, we will be streaming tonight. But share the video out and everything. Again, I don't think he needs an easy A. He's good where he's at. He's he literally aged well. Janimba didn't age well. Janimba is terrible, but he aged well. That's all I have for this one, guys. Hope you enjoy your day. Like I said, be sure to do everything else. And I'm out, guys. Peace.